Let's play that part of the Nick stream where they said that Nick disavowed me, where in reality he said he just didn't want to talk about these sick pedophiles anymore and that that's Ralph's thing, which is is my thing. Like, what the fuck? But then, so Gator clipped the very end of this. After he talks about Tux and Flamenco and some other shit. I haven't even heard the whole thing. And then they're like, oh, did he post that? Oh, fuck, I would have killed to see that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go look. But anyway, and then at the end, um, he's basically like, oh, we got a couple loose ends to tie up or whatever, but I'm kind of done talking about or participating in this stuff. Which, I mean, I'm assuming means that stream we were talking about doing one, but we'll see. Um, which I'm fine either way as far as that goes. I would personally like to do it, obviously, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't my plan. It wasn't my idea anyway, so... Like, that's cool either way. Um, so that's not even a, that's not even an issue. But they, they clipped the very end of this, and they're like, Nick has disavowed. Nick has disavowed Ralph. What is Ralph? <laughs> I was literally asleep. I went to sleep. And then I didn't see this because I was on the air during this part. And then I went to sleep. And they're like. And he's in the corner. <laughs> they're like. What is Ralph? Why is Ralph so quiet on Twitter? Gators like, why is Ralph so quiet? Playing Call of Duty, it's so funny. And uh, so I was over there. I said, hey, you know, why don't you get on Cozy? Because I know Twitch is super. Oh, now he's talking about Kumia. Uh, they're very restrictive with their terms of service. And he, he loved the idea. So I think we might be getting him on. Um, this but really, he should. Like, that's what I've always said. Yeah. Who said that in chat? I can't see who said that. Somebody said basically he should ignore people like PPP and Flamenco. Yeah, that's what I always said. I mean, a guy like, I mean, res responding to like that on a daily basis or whatever, um, that's not really for Nick, you know what I mean? Like, that's what they want to drag him down into anyway. I mean, it's kind of my business to fucking respond to these faggots every day. Um, so... And even I've kind of indulged. You know, for a long time, I didn't fucking respond to these people every single day. Um, and was just doing my show and not really, you know, going into it every day for battle. I kind of leaned into that this year, really. Um, so even me, that's not always been... Um, that's not always been my complete focus. Now I've always, you know, we've always had a little bit of a uh, little bit of drama, I guess. But um, as far as it being like as focused as it is, like every day, no, nah, that wasn't always that wasn't always the case. This week or next week, uh, you know, whatever, whenever he does his next stream, I think he'll be doing it on cozy. So that's exciting, and it was a good. Uh, productive meetup. So anyway, so that was that. Uh, like I said, for the rest of the week, uh, I'm out here in Texas, and um, I'll be doing a collaboration in some form with John Doyle tomorrow, and then uh, this weekend I'm going to this thing. And then I'll be back Monday. I'll be back in studio, hopefully healthy. Hopefully I'll be feeling 100% doing a normal show Monday. I'll probably do a show tomorrow and Friday as well. Again, hopefully I'm feeling better. We'll have super chats. My ear will pop, I hope. Um, but I, I want to get into some things on the show. Um, I, I want to say before we get into the news, because there's really only one news story I want to talk about, um, and, and then I'll probably just wind it down because, like, again, uh, not feeling good. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. Here comes the disavowal, by the way. <laughs> It's horrible. But like, I get, I'm like winded. Like I can barely, I can barely breathe right now. So I'm probably only going to cover one story tonight and give a little bit of commentary. Not really much going on in the news anyway. But before I do that, apparently there was some big drama uh, today with this flamenco guy who's a streamer on Cozy, uh, was a streamer, is a streamer on YouTube, and I don't really want to get into the drama. I don't know the I don't know the lore there. I don't really know the whole story. I was traveling all day, but I will say it is kind of funny because, like a couple of months ago, all of this drama started, drama with like a billion people, like and just crazy, stupid shit for months, 
And I, I guess it all goes back to, it was Ralph versus this guy, Flamenco. And they had a feud, they had beef. And mistakenly, and this is my mistake, you know, I'll, I'll own it. I jump on a stream and they were both in there. And I say, oh, okay, what's the beef? You know, what's going on? And they say, oh, well, you know, and they explain what it is. And I said, well, I don't know. I mean, it sounds like Ralph is right, but that's just me. And then it was like, <laughs> all bets were off. Then I'm getting attacked, then I get dragged into it. Then next thing I know, I'm debating Medicare, and then it's a big panel, and then everybody's shitting on me, and then people are quite negative. So I turned this whole thing. Now, I just love taking sides. I like taking sides. It's, it's sort of like a fatal flaw. I love fighting, okay? I like to fight. Smart. That's not walking it back. I, you know, that's how I felt. That was my opinion. Um, I, I don't, you know, I don't take that back or anything. In retrospect, though, it's like, was it worth it? You know, if that stream never happened, probably would have avoided a lot of drama. Um, some people like the drama, though. Some people think it's fun. Some people think it's uh, unnecessary. I think it's all kind of harmless and uh, silly. At the minimum, it's uh, it gives people something to talk about. It gives people a reason to, I don't know, check out the site. But in any case, you know, I go on the stream and I just love picking a side. I love just like, what, drama? A fight? I want to fight. I want to pick a side in the fight. I want to get in on the fight. And so I'm like, I think Ralph is right. And you know what? Fuck Medigar and all this. And it turns into this big thing that's now, you know, seems to finally kind of be fizzling out. Um, but I will say now it's a little bit funny. It's kind of come full circle, hasn't it? A lot of these dramas are kind of coming full circle. And it's like, you know, did you trust the plan? Did you really, did you trust the plan? Because it Now, coming full circle means Flamenco being revealed to be a pedophile, by the way, is kind of what he's alluding to there. Like, did you, do you believe now? Did you trust the plan? Wow, what a disavow. Oh, my heart. My heart is broken. Uh, let me take this. Oh, the picture is coming. <laughs> oh, no. Did you trust the plan? Press T is all the, that's right. All the plan trusters press T in the chat. It all goes back to this drama between Ralph and Flamenco. And now there's these credible accusations that Flamenco is a pedophile. So could you say that like, uh, I. Wow. What a disavow. I noticed Gator didn't clip this part. Why didn't he, why did he leave this part out? Oh, they didn't clip this part. Oh, okay. That didn't quite fit the narrative, I guess. Oh, okay. <clears throat> they clip one part where he's like, Ralph's like the trailer park junkyard dog or some shit. Anonymous sent $3 well, and so over that. Ralph and Males. Why would I care about being called that? I think that's hilarious. They clip that and they're like, Nick is disavowing trailer <laughs> trailer park Ralph. He's he's disavowing. I was like, uh, no. I went back and watched some of this. I was like, uh, not at Neil all. Neil Warper sent three dollars. I hope Nick stays a virgin forever. Hot college girl pussy changes a man, especially <laughs> the ones that let you tie them up and call you daddy. Old lion Brian. He can't help himself. Can we pull up? Hold on. Let me pull up his feed. Honestly, dude, this guy is busted, man. It's so he like. I swear to God, he was tweeting overnight. Hold on, let me pull this up. Well, not tweeting because he's not allowed on Twitter, but unfortunately for him, he's not a internet celebrity like me. So, um, but it's unfortunate. But um, <laughs> you know, he's not a world famous internet celebrity like I am, but. You know, you take what you can get. But anyway, whatever. Um, let's go back. <laughs> oh, let's go back. Here you go. Here we go. I take it back, though. Ralph is having a meltdown and seething. So Ralph took what could have been a W and is busy turning it into an L. Flamenco won. Won. Punish Flamenco robbing the casino blind. Like he's just defending them, look, making memes. Uh, like comparing them, I guess, to to Mersh and Royce when, against Sticks that time. 
The chat has completely turned on PPP and Godson for reaching too hard. The only person that won anything tonight was Ralph. Well, they did botch it. An hour later, Ralph has yet to screenshot and respond to this one. Hey, Ralph, since you're here, how's it feel knowing Keno Casino is going to boat race you in both money and numbers tonight? What? It didn't matter at all, did it? Because now they're in shambles and pointing fingers at each other, taking down their replay, banning people from chat. Half their audience is defending a pedophile like you. I'm just sitting here laughing on my hugely successful daytime show. You know, I do two shows a day. The famous, world-famous kill stream at night, and this is kind of, you know... My side project. Arguably, I don't know. The daytime show has kind of took off, really. But uh, we got to get some guests. I'm going to work on some guests here pretty soon. Get the kill stream. Get the kill stream loaded up. We need some events. See, I'm ti- I'm kind of tired of talking about you faggots, too, honestly, like every single day. I mean, I'm not going to stop. Don't get me wrong. But like the 24-7 shit, like you fucking, you dudes are kind of boring, really. I mean, we're not going to stop on your pedophile buddy. Like, I'm sure more is going to come out on him. Don't think we're letting him off the hook or anything. But, like, every single day. Damn. The fuck? And then, look. Okay, so he puts that out. <laughs> he says, I feel so bad for Andy. I want him to be successful. He did everything right tonight. Tried to wrangle PPP and Godwinson and couldn't. Oh. Fuentes has now disavowed Ralph over the Flamingo stuff. Ha, 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 he said. Wow, that was tough. Here's his summary, by the way. The definitive summary. Flamenco has the power of God and anime on his side. He was accused... This guy's going to hell with him. He was accused of being a pedo because he added some random guy to his steam friends and got invited to a random group. Just totally random group. Huh. <clears throat> well, you know, somebody was messaging me last night who actually is a, you know tries to catch pedophiles online. And they were like, this is really common uh, that they would use a different language other than English uh, to traffic in child pornography, that that's like a really common thing that they do. Um, use like catch headers and like images that, that uh, a fellow pedoph- pedophile would know would like be the trail or be on the way to more hardcore images that this is not, like, the whole idea, oh, I don't speak German, I don't know what's going on. This is, and this is something they didn't hammer on on, on Chomo Casino because, you know, Worski was too busy, you know, interrupting running cover for the pedophile. Um, I don't know. It was uh, it was kind of a it was kind of a botch job, and then every time they really kind of got him on the ropes, Flamenco either spurred out and started crying himself and threatened to leave. Which that's why to me, Godwin said it was funny when he just came out and called him a pedophile at the beginning, but he should have saved that. They should have built the case and then dropped the hammer blow. You're a pedophile at the end. Um, it's just better from a persuasion standpoint. And it also lets him, you know, he also hangs around for the entire time while you build the case. Then he's there, he sits through it all, and then at the end you're just like, yeah, fuck you, pedophile, bitch. <laughs> like, yeah. But instead, they just went right out at him, and then Worski got scared and backed, you know, backed, uh, backed off and started backing the pedo. Then it, was a, then it made them all look like idiots. Their audience is arguing amongst each other, and half the audience hates... <laughs> hates PPP now on the other half saying Worski cover for the pedophile. I mean, again, it's good for me. It makes me laugh, but also they let the pedophile off the hook. So it's like, I'm kind of torn about it. I'm kind of torn about it because it's funny that they're in such shambles. Don't get me wrong. But also it's like, damn, you guys let the pedophile off the hook. What a fucking busted ass. And now Worski's going to be too pussy to go back at it. Cause he's a, he's a weak bitch. He'll nix, he'll nix any going back to the well here. They'll try to move right on. Um, and I didn't watch it last night, but I heard their their segment on Fuentes when they tried to, like, switch gears, which is completely uninspired. Real Warper sent $3. Do we know for sure Fagmenko doesn't speak fluent German? Bet he does. Also, huge victory That's for the Warbore Ethan Ralph. 
Fuck the haters. Thank you. Victory is ours, Kang. Thank you. You know, um, somebody said they remember him speaking German on a stream, and I've, you know, I've, tr I've put out a request. If anybody remembers it, like I don't watch Flamenco stuff, so I can't. I couldn't say. Anyway, let's read the rest of this fact shit. Uh, Gator said he was accused of being a PO because he added some random guy to his Steam friends and got invited to a random group. He goes on Kino Casino. Goblinson and PPP claimed they had exclusive secret pedo chats and never delivered because they were lying. They tried to lie and insinuate that Flam fucked his sister because Tux fucked his own sister. Well, that's kind of, you know, something that I think so too. But their entire chat turned on them over it. Flamenco won two polls overwhelmingly. Then Flamenco demanded they sing him happy birthday like Mersh and Royce had to do to sticks on the Kumite. This is just like the meme. Where the dude's like <laughs> trying to explain to his <laughs> to his girlfriend or whatever, and it's like it's fucking this long ass paragraph. Imagine being this autistic, this just like big of a faggot to like ever write something like this out. <laughs> Could you imagine writing all that out? I'd have to kill myself before I do that. Flam declared victory and left. They started coping and seething. Ralph got angry and started smearing Worski as a pedo. <laughs> well, it wasn't really a smear. I mean, he was doing the smearing on his own. Smearing himself with the pedophile. Fuentes completely disavowed all Ralph drama and called him trailer trash. Then Kiwi Farms, <laughs> then Kiwi Farms proved the whole Steam Group thing was a gay out from the start. Oh, wow. Wow. They proved it. Oh, wow. <laughs> then everyone clapped. Wow. Wow, that sounds pretty neat and tidy there, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it wasn't a gay op. Of course not. I've seen nothing saying that, by the way. Absolutely nothing. <clears throat> then he says this 10 hours ago. Ralph now suspiciously quiet on Twitter. I was asleep. Ten hours ago. That was one fifty six. I was asleep. I went to sleep right after the show. I had to get up and do more work. I'm not a bum like you. Fucking faggot. Yeah, no wonder nobody ever watches your shit. You don't keep a fucking schedule, loser. And you're boring as fuck. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I had to go to sleep. Sorry, I had to get back up and work again. It's a whole new day. I'm going to Atlantic City on Monday, though, so that should be fun. My weekend's going to be on Monday because I looked at the weather, and I was like, Monday and Tuesday look better weather-wise. So I'm going to take the fam up to Atlantic City for my weekend on Monday and Tuesday, and we're going to work all the way through with tequila sunrises all the way through until... And kill streams until Monday. So that's the schedule. We may skip one tequila sunrise on the weekend. We'll see. But I'm planning probably to do them all. So also we have the fifth hour fund. I kind of bumped it up to fifth hour this week because I kind of wanted to do five hours. It might not be like that every day. I almost put it back on four today. Uh, but if we hit the four, I'll still do four too. So, um, which was the 80, but uh, the fifth hour fun there on the screen, powerchat.live slash the Ralph retort, killstream.live slash entropy, which I should turn on, uh, super chat, dollar sign sunset squad over there. We have several ways. Also, I missed a couple on Odyssey last night. Shout out Kiosk, man. I'm sorry I missed those. I didn't see them until after the show. So, shout out to them. Odyssey seems to be running a little bit better. Most people, of course, watching on Cozy.TV, the Cozy Heads, the Cozy Cats in the chat. Uh, but uh, I think it's working over there on uh, on Odyssey. Let me see. I'll sign into Entropy, too. All right, and then we'll go back to that club. Where I get disavowed hard. Oh, no. It's over. It's over, Cozy Bros. Oh. oh, wait, I got to read the rest of these. Ralph now suspiciously quiet. Yeah, I was asleep. Then he said, Ralph's finally awake from his drunken stupor and has yet to realize what all happened. 
after he passed out online. Actually, I'd already seen that clip, Gator, because, you know, this is my job to, like, be informed of what fags like you are trying to lie about. And so I'd already seen that clip, and my response was to tweet out this. Oh, wait, hold on. Which is kind of my standard gif whenever I... Whenever I'm highly amused. <laughs> so I was laughing both at Chomo Casino and you. <laughs> so this was my response to the whole matter when I woke up. Ralph suspiciously silent. Yeah, I'm asleep. The fuck? This is like my favorite gif of all time. Also, just makes me think of like delicious Italian cuisine, like me just sitting there laughing right before I light up a stogie. Which I think I might, I think I might have to light one up this morning. Actually, oh, I don't know if we should, uh, if we should have one. But anyway, uh, so I had seen it. He goes, Ralph, awake, awake from his drunk. I wasn't in a drunken stupor, but okay. Has yet to realize what all happened. Then he said, oh, you miss Nick calling you trailer trash and calling your drama gay and counter to the movement? Don't worry, I've got the link. First off, he didn't say all that, but. Rage pig in full damage control mode, LMFO. In the last 24 hours, Ralph has now falsely implied or otherwise stated that everyone that laughs at him on the internet is a pedophile. In other news, Ralph's girlfriend, Pantsu Party, has a history of saying she enjoys anime, depicting little girls getting fucked just like her then-boyfriend, Digibro. News at 11. That's their next strategy, to smear. To smear the mother of my child, which doesn't work because she's, like, based as fuck and was basically just following that retard script, which anybody knows, you know, all due respect to... I'll do respect to women. Um, wouldn't be the first time that they followed a, a retard around like that. So, again, we talked about that before. Um, and any time they try to shift it to an attack on her, it's like, okay, well, you guys are pre- you guys are flailing pretty hardcore. Um, and then you know. They try to attack my kid, try to attack her. Um, it doesn't affect her, but it is it is fucked up to see, but I already know how it goes, right? So, like, I'm not going to be, like, Medicare or some of these other people and, you know, cry about it to the UN or anything like that. That's kind of just how it goes. Um, yeah, basically, anything to own Ralph, yeah, pretty much. Um, but, I mean, that dude was, you know, That dude was crazy as fuck. I'm glad she got away from him. And, you know, we have a happy life here doing cool shit. So, like going to Atlantic City on Monday. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, I have a pretty, pretty crazy um, history as well in certain regards. (laughs) Right? So, uh, we all have, we all have our baggage. Um as far as that goes. And so we had her on the show to talk about it actually, which is what's funny. Like there's none of this is a secret. We had her on the show like back then too, um, to talk about that shit. So cozy, cool and based. Thank you. I appreciate that. But it's funny because they keep bringing it up. Like it's some hidden, like some hidden thing where she said, fuck all that shit and fuck those statements. And that that wasn't her, so, you know, that wasn't her true personality, et cetera. So it's one of those things that I've talked about, too. It's not it's not even hidden. Like, it's just, it's, like, out there. Whereas they're actively covering for active guys in pedophile groups, you know, trading child porn, pretty much, is what I think Flamenco was doing. So um, they're running active cover for a legitimate pedophile. And their response to that is to pull up some fucking clip where she was in a video with, you know, her crazy ex who documented, you know, documented crazy as fuck and went even crazier. Um, And they take, like, some clip where she was reading a script to try to, 
Exactly. Anonymous That's their response. Three dollars. We've seen the push to normalize pedophilia, but flamenco is bravely trying to normalize incest. <laughs> Anyway, that turned into Rage Pig and full damage control. Now he's just screen capping the other guy's post. All right, we'll play the rest. Was vindicated? Could you say that Ralph was vindicated? I, maybe you can. Either way, you know, people are asking me. People are texting me. Oh, did you see I what's you happening? Can. What's your take? And, um, like, I didn't really read too much into it. I, I saw the Ralph stream. I, I caught a little bit of it. Honestly, that that community is just like so I know this is cringe to say, but it's toxic. It really is. I mean, you have in the span of like two weeks, like one guy who's on the other side is like in an incestuous relationship with the sister, which Ralph covered earlier this week or last week. This guy tucks or something again. I, I don't know. I barely follow this stuff. I've been I've been. In New York, meeting with people all week. Um, and by the way, planning events and other stuff. By the way, which, he's. Oh, you know, fuck. That's how I felt. That was my opinion. Damn, I skipped back too far. I didn't mean to do that. By the way, he's talking about them. <laughs> he's talking about Tux. He's talking about Tux and Flamenco. Right, like he's like, wow, those guys are toxic. <laughs> he's like, holy shit, that's not. Yeah, um, but I will say now it's a little bit funny. It's kind of come full circle. Which Sorry, Ralph I skipped and Flamenco. Alf was vindicated. I, maybe you can. Sorry, I either way, I accidentally fucked up. Yeah. You know, people are asking me. People are texting me. Oh, did you see what's happening? What's your take? And. Um, like, I didn't really read too much into it. I, I saw the Ralph stream. I, I caught a little bit of it. Honestly, that that community is just, like, so... I know this is cringe to say, but it's toxic. It really is. I mean, you have in the span of, like, two weeks, like, one guy who's on the other side is, like, in an incestuous relationship with the sister. Real Warper sent $3 Gator... Worski, Flamenco, and so many more of these traitors just rode Ralph's coattails. They're so fucked and without fans without him. Idiots think they can branch out on their own. Nobody likes these fags. It's true. Which Ralph covered earlier this week or last week. This guy Tux or something. Again, I, I don't know. I barely follow this stuff. I've been, I've been in New York meeting with people all week. Um, and planning events and other stuff, which we'll have some announcements uh, probably next week or the week after. So I've just been busy. I've been working. I've been meeting with people. So I, I don't really have time to watch these 10-hour streams about some drama YouTuber I've never heard and, like, Discord logs or whatever. But so in the span of, like, one week, we get this one guy named Tux, I think, who apparently had some weird, like, incest thing going on. And then now this thing with Flamenco... And it's sort of like, you know, I've seen enough. I just don't really want any part of that whole scene. It just seems sort of uh, ugly. And, you know, we, we had our fun. We had our drama. I think I basically got proven right over the course of things. Um, so I, I'm just kind of like winding down my involvement in that whole area. Um, you know, like I said, it's it's sort of like a harmless diversion. It's fun for a minute, but then then you wake up and you realize it's like, okay, but we have a job to do. It. We're trying to put America first here. We're trying to run a political movement. So you know, Ralph can do his thing, and I'll do my thing. Ra Ralph is sort of like this, you know, trailer park junkyard with nothing left to lose. Who's going out there and fighting, you know, scumbags of the internet? And that's fine. And I think it's funny. And I think it's good content. I think he's good at what he does. But America First is something separate, and we're doing a political movement. And sometimes it's fun to watch what's going on over there, but honestly, I've seen enough where I'm like, okay, I, I think I've had I think I've had my fill on that scene, the, the drama community. It's just very, I'm going to take my dub, and I'm, I'm cashing in my chips, and I'm leaving, okay? Taking the dub, vindicated on a few things, and I'm leaving. Um, there are some things that remain unresolved, though. You know, there's some things which are partially drama, partially... Now, how is any of that a disavowal? 
have I mean, have we is it still yet to come? Because that was the clip they pulled out and said that Nick disavows Rob. <laughs> Judas stream. As far as I know, I think so. I don't know. Like I would understand if it was like either way. Okay. Wow. Now let me play this. Hold on, let me go back. I think I've had, I think I've had my fill on that scene. That the drama community is just very. I'm gonna take my dub and I'm I'm cashing in my chips and I'm leaving. Okay, taking the dub, vindicated on a few things and I'm leaving. Um, there are some things that remain unresolved, though. You know, there's. Some things which are partially drama, partially business, which uh, still we have some loose ends to tie up. So as far as that scene goes, yeah, I'm sort of bowing out. But there are some things, uh, obviously, over the past month or so that remain unresolved. So, you know, we'll have to tie up some loose ends there, so to speak. But in any case, I just want to say that real quick because I know... You know, for the past couple months, there's been like this, oh, you know, you're, you're involved in this e-drama, you know, peripherally. And uh, honestly, at this point, I'm like, OK, I'm good. Like, I've seen enough. I'm good. Uh, you, you see the, the kind of shit that goes on. It's like, like I said, it's discord logs about incest and it's, it's pedo stuff in the Steam library. Like, OK, you know what? Uh, That's right. Back to the regularly scheduled <laughs> yeah. program. So... I just want to mention that and say, by the way, we were right. By the way, we were right. We entered the drama foray and we won. We beat them at their own game. We entered the drama scene. We kicked some ass. We got vindicated. They have been exposed. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. But anyway, so I just want to touch on that for a sec. The big, <coughs> excuse me, a big story that I want to talk about. It's not really a big story, but... I put this out on my telegram. I guess Blake Masters is taking a Man, what a disavow. Oh, man, what a tragic, what a tragic disavow. Basically, he said Ralph won and was right. We all won. We beat them at their own game. <laughs> I don't want to fucking talk about these sick fucks. I'm, you know, Ralph will probably continue talking about them. That's his thing. You know, I'm doing politics and stuff. It was a nice little diversion. We still got some loose ends to tie up, um, which the Judas episode, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go forward. I don't know if it's going to be on the 18th, though, so it might be it might be just at some point during the cruel summer, maybe later in June or July. So that's what, that's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing on that. Um, but there's no... I don't hear any disavowal in here at all. <laughs> Hold on, let me go back. By the way... I want to hear this part oh, again. ...to tie up some loose ends there, so to speak. But in any case, I just want to say that real quick because I know... You know, for the past couple of months, there's been like this, oh, you know, you're, you're involved in this e-drama, you know, peripherally. And uh, honestly, at this point, I'm like, OK, I'm good. Like, I've seen enough. I'm good. Uh, you, you see the, the kind of shit that goes on. It's like, like I said, it's discord logs about incest and it's, it's pedo stuff in the Steam library. Like, OK, you know what? <laughs> uh, back to the regularly scheduled programming. So. I just want to mention that and say, by the way, we were right. By the way, we were right. We entered the drama foray and we won. We beat them at their own game. We entered the drama scene. We kicked some ass. We got vindicated. They have been exposed. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. But anyway, so I just want to touch on that for a sec. The big, <laughs> excuse me. Plus, their whole goal with fucking with Nick, too, is to, like, get him to respond to every little thing, right? Like, that's, like, a known thing that they're trying to do. They're just trying to drag him down, get him to respond to every fucking thing. Now they've already been proven with the fake Twitters and all the bullshit they try to spin with Judas and all this shit. It's like, you don't want to engage them Chad every sent $3. Ralph will eat Nick's shit because he has no choice, but also likes to eat shit. I know that's not Chagat. That would be too, way too disrespectful. 
for Chaga to send in. I know he wouldn't. I know he wouldn't do something like that. Um, but that's no different than anything. <laughs> How is that a disavow? I don't know. Uh, that's basically saying, um, not even basically, explicitly saying, these guys are fucking pedophiles and sick fucks. I've seen enough. I don't want to fucking engage with that shit every single day and get dragged down by that, basically. Now, part of our brand, part of what we do is fucking engaging with that shit and not giving a fuck. But you notice I'm not running any political organizations, right? Like, I'm not fucking putting on AF packs and stuff like that. If I was, I'd probably have to pull back on some of the, you know, fighting people every single fucking day, especially some of these crazy people every single fucking day. So, yeah, it's two different things. Like, that's what I've said on this show a bazillion times, right? Like, it's not the same thing. <laughs> Yeah, he started out gloating about backing you. Somebody said, yeah. Yeah, I don't know where they where they get that. But. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.